Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 22526 and Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And there are just a few changes with this build, the first build of 2022. The first one that uh, Microsoft mentioned is that they're changing alt tab so it shows in Windows instead of full screen. Now, if you look on here, on mine here now, this is actually full screen. You can see I've got this the, the, the translucent background and then the apps that I'm uh, transitioning between. The one that they showed an example of has just a, a window around this area and the rest of it's clear. So um, not got that change yet, unfortunately. As it happens, they do sort of A-B testing so not everybody gets it at the same time, but that's what it will be when it comes out. Another thing they've added, if you're an AirPod user, um, they've added support for wideband speech, so which improves audio quality and voice calls. And if you're on this build, Credential Garden is now enabled uh, if you're on Windows 11 Enterprise uh, with PCs that are Enterprise joined. And the other thing they mentioned is that experimenting with file indexing more file locations through File Explorer so that when you start uh, searching on here, it's going to find more results because they're adding more uh, locations for it to index. I don't know what those are. They don't say, but it should make searching a little quicker. That's what they say anyway. So the rest of the things are just fixes. They've um, addressed some issues where Explorer would crash. And I have not had those issues as well. My Explorer is working okay. And they've made some fixes uh, where the searches, recent searches would get stuck on the, on the screen. So when you do a search, uh, this box would get stuck. They've also improved the resolution of app icons in the search results when when you're on uh, scaling more than 100%. I'm on 100% on this one, but if you're on, say, 110% and you start searching, some of the icons look a little weird, and they fix that. They fixed some issues with widgets not loading correctly, and uh, that's the widgets there. And they've addressed an issue where the widget boards would be blank, and uh, they've they've uh, stopped that from uh, going blank or the resolution may be going wrong. Uh, there's some other minor changes as well. They fixed some um, blue screens and when you're a remote desktop user and uh, web media extensions should be installed correctly from the store. I'm not seeing any app updates on this one as well. Um, there's still some known issues with this build. You may be unable to sign into certain apps such as the Feedback Hub. You can restart and that will correct it. And some insiders have seen uh, driver and firmware install errors, and I haven't seen that myself. Um, there's some old ones on there, like you are able to uh, enter text when using search on the start menu. Uh, but as you've seen, but as I can try that, that will work, no problem. But that's been a known issue for some time. And there's a couple of task bar issues, the efficient they fix it with it flickering and uh, the network icon may uh, disappear as well. But those are the main uh, known issues uh, with this with this build and main changes. So not a huge amount of change with this build at the moment, or these builds at the moment. Um, I haven't got the new weather icon down the bottom left any either yet that's supposed to be rolling out but i haven't seen that yet anyway thanks for watching this video that's 22526 windows windows insiders on the dev channel i've got a video of the new media player as well which um, is looking quite good so uh, you can check that out on our youtube channel thanks for watching